So, um, this is yeah, vector proof exam question one. We'll go through two of these. And so what we have is we have, consider the equilateral triangle ABC, and we have let CA equal vector A, and the vector from C to B equal vector B. All right, part A. Draw the vector BD, which is equal to minus 2A. So what we have is we have the vector from B to D, which is minus two lots of A. So if this is vector A, then minus A is going in that direction, but twice its magnitude. So that's one lot of A, and then here's another lot of A, and that's gonna be vector BD, which is equal to vector minus two A. Okay, so all we're doing to begin with is sketching it. Okay, prove that B dot B take 2A equals zero. All right, so requires a little bit of insight here. Anytime dot products equal to zero, it means perpendicular, 90 degree angle. And so if this is B, okay, well this vector here, the vector from C to D, all right, if I'm going from C to D, it, we, we could go here and then here. We can see that this is B take away 2A. And so if we have B prove that, um, what is it, A, uh, B dot B take 2A equals zero, well, we're proving that the angle between them is 90 degrees, okay? So we're gonna prove that that's 90. That's what we're required to do. So, we're going to combine a couple of skills here, and with this question, there's obviously a couple of ways of doing it. All right. Now, I think the first thing we'll do is let's focus, let's put some point here and call it M, um, so that we have this sort of midpoint. Okay. So we can say, like, if we're making the argument mathematically, we're going to say let M be the midpoint of. Uh, BD such that BM equals A, uh, negative A. All right. Now, this BM is, um, it's got a length of A, and because this is an equilateral triangle, the magnitude of all of these is equal. Right? The magnitude of all of them is equal. And so then if I want to know, well, what is vector CM? What is the vector from C to M? Where, that's what we're interested in. So the vector from C to M, we could say it's vector A. All right, it's going to be um, vector A plus AB plus BM. So I'm going to write it like that first. Vector A plus, uh, let's write it in terms of the letters we've got. It would be vector CA plus AB plus bm. Okay, we're going a roundabout way of getting there, but you can see a and a, b and b takes us to the first letter we have is c, the last letter we have is m, so connecting the heads and tails. So the vector from c to m is ca plus ab plus bm. Now, um, vector ab we can write in terms of vectors a and b. Okay, the vector from A to B would be minus A plus B. Okay, that's vector A, so we would have minus A plus B. And so then when we sub all that in, we've got vector C, A corresponds with A. Vector from A to B corresponds with minus A plus B. And the vector from B to M corresponds with minus A. Okay, so what are we left over with? We've got um, A's will cancel. We're left with B take A. B take A will just be you know, minus A plus B. The point I'm getting at is that this vector and this vector are parallel and equal in magnitude. All right? So that means this has the same length as well. That vector CM is equal to vector AB. And so let's just make a statement that all of the moduli are equal. So we've got CA equals AB equals BM equals MD. 
equals C. So we're just saying all the middle equal. Now, because they are all equal, all right, we have equilateral triangles, and we know all of these angles are going to be 60 degrees. Okay, so let's make that argument. So we'll say, therefore, angles, and let's write all of them. We're going to have angle C, M, B is equal to angle M, B, C, which is equal to angle B, C, M, which is equal to 60 degrees, or pi on 3, because it's an equilateral triangle. So this, this is where including a bit of deductive geometry into this method of proof that we're proceeding with. So if they're 60 degrees, that means we can know angle CMD has to be 120 degrees because if this is a straight line, that's 60, so the remainder here has to be 120. Um, so we can say, what's the justification there? Well, that's angled on a line at 180 degrees. Okay, and we also have this triangle CMD, I'm going to abstract it, triangle CMD, is an isosceles triangle, isn't it? Because we have these are equal in magnitude. We have this is 120 degrees. All right, which means these angles, we'll call them theta, are equal. They're equal because it's an isosceles triangle, two pairs of equal sides and equal angles. So let's write triangle C and D is isos. So therefore, what does that mean? It means two lots of theta is equal to 60 degrees because of all of the angles in the triangle and up to 180. Which means theta is 90. Uh, sorry, theta is 30. <laughs> 2 theta is 60, then theta is 30. And so therefore, angle DCB is 90. Therefore, the dot product of B and B take 2A is zero. So all we're doing, we've said, we're asked to prove that this is true. So that means this angle is 90 degrees. Prove that this angle is 90 degrees. And that's what we've done um, using a bit of deductive geometry there. Okay. Illustrate the result from parts here just means draw a 90 degree angle that we want. Okay, let's jump ahead then. We've got enough time to get through exam question on page 26. Back to exam question 2. And there's a reason we're doing this one now because we've done area and that's going to pop up in this question. And we're even going to use one of the properties that we just wrote down just before. So I'll clear this away. We're happy. And I'll sketch up our next diagram where we've got O. A, B. This is a beautiful question, by the way. And we have X and Y. All right. It says, um, O vector O A is equal to A. So this vector is A, and vector O B is B. And we also have, we're also told that OX is equal to four times XA. So the vector from O to X is four times larger than this one. And so what that means is this is four parts, this is one part. It's in a ratio of four to one, such that OX is four fifths of OA. All right, that's four fifths of the way along because this is one part, this is four parts. Uh, so that's that one. And we're told BY is four YA. B, Y, so that length there is four times that length, so we have the same thing, same ratio. All right, in terms of A and B, 
find the vector from A to B. Okay, so from A to B, we're going to have minus A plus B. Okay. Um, from O to X, okay, from O to X, that's four fifths of the way from O to A. So let's write that vector OX is four fifths of vector OA, which is four fifths of A. Alright, in terms of vectors A and B. Okay, use a vector proof to show that XY is parallel to OB. So, we already have OB in terms of A and B, so we need to find XY. We want to find what is vector XY. So this is part B. So we're interested in the vector from X to Y. So I'm going to say it's vector XA plus AY. Now the vector from X to A is one fifth of the vector from O to A. Alright? So we can write XA as one fifth of OA, which is one fifth of A. And the vector from A to Y is one fifth of the vector from A to B. And we've already found vector AB is minus A plus B. Alright, the 1 on 5 distributes, the A's cancel, we're left with uh, 1 on 5 for B. Alright, so we've demonstrated they're both in terms of B, they're both scalar multiples of B. So we've got XY is equal to 1 fifth of OB, therefore XY is parallel to OB. QED. That's part B. And then we're on to part C. Okay. Vector A cross vector B is equal to 4. So vector A cross vector B, I'll write that up here. Uh, the modulus of A cross B is equal to 4. Find the area of triangle OAB. Well, the area of this triangle is area of the triangle is half the modulus of A cross B. All right, so it's going to be half of four, which is two, and then it's square. Okay, so the area of triangle OAB is two units square. All right. Find the area of triangle, so that's C part one, and then C part two. Find the area of triangle X, A, Y. So this small triangle here, it's got to be significantly smaller, isn't it? So triangle X, A, Y, now that's going to equal half times the modulus of X, A cross X, Y. All right, it's half the modulus of x a x y, and so if we're looking at that, we're going, how on earth can I do that? How can I make a link to what I've done previously? Okay, it's always building. It's like a beautiful Lego tower where each subsequent layer builds on the previous one. So we've got to say, what's a relationship I have between x a and a? Because I'm told the modulus in terms of that. In fact, we have x a is one fifth of Oh, okay. so we can write that in there. This is one fifth of vector OA, which is A. And we also have XY, uh, sorry, that should say, uh, no, that's correct. XY, we've already found XY. XY is one fifth of B. So cross one fifth of B. All right, now we'll use that property. What this is, is it's half, and we have um, one, the modulus of one on five times one on five, that's one on 25, 
A cross B. All right? And the modulus of 1 on 25 is just half times 1 on 25 times A cross B. We know A cross B is 4. We're told that. So we've got 1 on 50 times 4. We've got 2 on 25 in squared. be the simplest we can express that as a fraction. So that's a nice vector proof exam question that relies on um, the properties of the cross product. Okay so for homework guys we're just finishing off where we're up to in 6a. Next lesson we will start 6b and that's, um, that's a good one to be present for because we're learning about lines in 2. Well we've done um, two dimensional lines hopefully in year 11. And then we've got three lines in three dimensional space, how we can describe those. So yeah, we'll stop there for sure. And uh